Hello children, welcome to Vistas Learning. By now you all must know what is Vistas Learning, right? Yes, Vistas Learning provides quality education to each one of us. Yeah. Have you been sharing the videos that you are seeing it and also liking it? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so what is today's topic? Do you remember last time what did we say? What did I say? Yes, food habits, right? Last time we learned about food health, how food is beneficial for our healthy living. So today we are going to study about food habits. What is habits? Good habits, bad habits. So same thing, we have food habits. So food habit that is good for us, food habit that is bad for us. We all have specific liking of food, don't we? So here we are going to study, we are going to cover as much as possible about the food habits of most of the people. So let's get started. Here, the first thing, where do we get food from? Yeah, from the store, right? Mommy gets it from the store. So we get food from the store, right? The food grows in the store. No, the primary producer of food is plants or animals, right? The product from plants, we get like vegetables, seeds, fruits, and the products from animals, from chicken, from goat, we get all this fish, milk, eggs, meat, cheese. Yes, cow gives milk, right? From there we make cheese. Yeah. So food comes from either plants or animals. And it is up to us how much do we eat of both the products. Yeah. Vegetarians eat only plant products, but they have animal products too. Yeah, they have cheese, they have paneer, like water cheese, they drink milk, so those are plant products, but they are vegetarians. Yes, so let's see how do we get food from field to our plate, right? So it doesn't come ready-made, right? So there is a various process. So what is the process? First, you sow the seeds, right, for the plants. And for the animals, they grow up from the babies. When they are ready, they give by the milk, they produce milk, the chicken lay eggs, the goat gives us meat. So the first thing, animal and crop farms and fisheries. Fishes, you can fish from the sea, they, the fishermen go and they fishing and they get the fishes, but there is also a fishery farm. So they grow fish over there to give, to supply in large scale. So the first one, the crops grow in the agricultural fields, the animals in the animal husbandry and then the fisheries. So the first thing is from these group, the main, it's born. From there, it goes to, it grows up, harvesting is done. It goes to the handling and processing center. There it is processed. We just don't take directly. There the crops are processed, meats are processed, fishes are processed. After that, we go, they are sent to the warehouse or the storage place, all the cold storage. The crops go to the storage, then the meats, they go to the cold storage where they are preserved. And after that, it is transported. They are transported to warehouses from where it goes to the market. And from the market, we buy and then we cook and it comes to your dining table on your plate. The food is ready to serve. So whenever you are eating, you're sitting for your lunch, or your dinner, you have to be thankful to all the people, the animals, 
that are responsible for the food on your plate. So that is the reason we should not be wasting food. All right. So here, daily we eat food, right? What do we eat? Do we eat only bread, butter or something, biryani every day? Now, those are all occasional food. So daily food here, the picture is too much. Some people have these many. But some staple food is rice, lentil soup or it's a dal called and some salad, either fish curry or chicken curry or vegetables. So these are the daily food. Every day though we don't cook so many items. Does your mommy cook so many items? Well, you're lucky enough then. Okay, then whenever guests arrive, we are happy because we are going to get good food. So many varieties of food. Mommy prepares a dessert, ice cream, then maybe different types of vegetables, different types of fishes or chicken or mutton, anything. So the items becomes more. So that is occasional food items. And then we also have fast food items where we have sweets, right? During Diwali, mommy prepares lots of sweets, isn't it? Do you have them? Very good. So, and yes, and Christmas, you bake cake, you make cookies. So, these are not daily routine work, right? So, these are only safe for special purpose. So, special days. So, the special days, we have festive food items. So, here I see various sweets, Right? There are many sweet items over here. Okay, so got it? Daily food items are very limited. Occasional food items are little more than daily food. And festives are festive season. You need to be happy. So you are happy with the food you eat. Okay. Then, the regional food. Regional food are something different regions, right? Our country is north, south, east, west. So different region has different crops. So the regional food, each region depends on the food items that is obtained, that is available in their market. So according to that, they prepare their food recipes, yes. So the various things over here, so here in, you can see a typical South Indian dish, they serve it in banana leaves. Yes, it is very nice. So, so many items, but it is also occasional. So it depends, the regional food items depends on the materials that is easily available in that region. Okay? Okay. So here. Now, do all along the coastal of our country, you have the sea, so the sea and river. So they have lot of fish production. So they have lot of fishes and then the coconut groves are there. They have lot of coconut products. They include the coconut milk or the coconut oil in their cuisine. So it all depends on that. In the north, they use mode of uh, jawar or rice items and their food items. So, so the food habit of those regions depends on the food items available in the place. Yes. Here we don't get, I think in south we have lot of rice items, right? Like tamarind rice, then uh, what is it? Uh, lemon rice, tomato rice, coconut rice, right? So rice is abundant over here. So the people have a lot of rice atoms over here. Yes, they have idli, they have dosas also, isn't it? Okay, so people follow different food habits according to the customs of their locality or family. So our family has customs. We have been following from generations to generations. So yes, 
I am a Bengali, so I am from West Bengal. And West Bengal, they have fishes, they have sweets, they have various items. But that doesn't mean I cook every day. So your parents must be belong to a family tradition. So that doesn't mean they cook the daily items from their custom. They can cook only what is available in your locality. But we also follow our customs, right? Our traditions. So sometimes during the festive season, we cook our traditional items. All right. Then, yes, like good habits and bad habits, the food is also divided into good food and bad food. Yes. What are good foods? Yes, the daily food that is available, we prepare it at home, is called good food. So what includes egg, then nuts, then uh, cereals, fish, leafy vegetables, fruits, rice, chapati, yes. And then, this is our favorite food, right? So no, 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 this is not good for your health. This is only for once in a month, very rare. So yes, McDonald's, right? McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Domino's, wow. My mouth has already started watering, I'm sure yours too. But these are all junk food, it's bad food. It's not good for your health, but you can have occasionally. Sometimes when you're very happy, you want to celebrate, right? On your birthday, you can order it, but not every day. So here we have burgers, chips, french fries, chicken nuggets, and breadsticks. So you have to choose your food accordingly. And along with the junk food, if you have healthy food, it balances. So always having healthy food. And sometimes you can opt for junk food, right? You can have chips sometimes, but not all the time. All right. So you know what you eat. Okay. So it depends on your taste, how you like it. But do, do try to include the leafy vegetables and fruits in your daily diet. Okay, so here let's revise what we have done in our today's session. So it is recap. Where does food come from? Animals or plants, right? The, the main uh, place where our, we have to depend on our food. So they are the prime source of the food. Yes, yeah, that food from field to plate. So it depends, it is a long process. We have to wait for the crops to grow or the animals to grow to give us the milk, egg or the meat. And then it is stored, it is processed and then it is transported to the market from where we have to buy and then cook and then it comes to our plate. Yeah. Then the daily food items. We have rice or chapati, dal and maybe one sabzi, one vegetable, isn't it? Yeah. And then the occasional food items, sometimes very rare when guests arrive, yes, lot of food items are made. Okay. And then the festive food items. So different region has their own festive food. Varieties of sweets they make, varieties of snacks they prepare. So it depends on the regions as well. Then the regional food. It depends on the items that is easily available over there. Okay, so each region has their special cuisine. Cuisine means recipes. They have the special items that they prepare. Okay, so what is your special cuisine? Which region are you from? Can you tell me? Yes, please put it on the comment box. All right, then we also saw the good food and bad food. Food is not good or bad. It is just the 
preparation, how do we make it, that makes it good or bad. Sometimes you can have junk food but balance it with the healthy food. You can have anything you want and also exercise is very important along with your food habit. Yes, I see this boy having ice cream, burger, can you see that? Pizza, chicken, popcorn, right? So yes, everything can be eaten. And now, we're almost done. So thank you so much for watching me. Yes, have you liked the video? If you haven't, quickly do it. And I know you have subscribed. But these are for the people who have not subscribed. So do subscribe to our channel, We Learning Junior. And don't forget to click the bell icon because you have to be notified of my upcoming videos, isn't it? And also you can visit www.v-learning.in. There you will find multiple videos of, for you to learn and grow. Because Vista Learning brings the quality education for all, right? So keep learning with Vistas Learning. Until we meet next time, bye-bye from Soma ma'am.